Back now with a mystery nearly five decades in the making. Tomorrow marks 50 years since the Norfolk based sub USS Scorpion vanished, taking all 99 crewmen with her. The Navy has never released an official reason for what caused the catastrophe, but as we near the half century mark, two men think they finally have an answer. They told 13 News Now military reporter Mike Gooding a foreign power may have been involved, and it's a story you'll see only on 13 News Now. I can understand that maybe the Pentagon and the Navy did not exactly want to get into a shooting war with the Soviet Union in May of 1968. But that does not, to me, excuse a 50-year cover-up. Five decades later, questions remain about the USS Scorpion. The Navy's official inquiry reached no conclusion about what happened. The report said the certain cause of the loss of the Scorpion cannot be ascertained from evidence now available. There, there always was evidence of a, of a Soviet attack. Former Ledger Star columnist Ed Offley wrote a book, Scorpion Down, in 2007. After interviewing two former Navy radio men, Offley believes the Scorpion was sunk during an underwater skirmish with a Soviet sub. They heard what the guys were telling each other, and what they were telling each other was that a Soviet submarine had sunk the Scorpion. Former radio men second class Mike Hannon of Snellville, Georgia, was on duty and sought much of the high-level top-secret cable traffic involving the Scorpion 50 years ago. A Soviet submarine was detected leaving the area at a high rate of speed. And so that led you to conclude that the Russians did it? Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's my conclusion, and I will uh, believe that until the day I die. Meanwhile, it was announced today that the Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral John Richardson, will attend a private memorial service for the Scorpion this Saturday at Naval Station Norfolk. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.